Hello everyone. We are going to be in my storage building today to restore or really refinish these uh, vintage electric horns that I picked up for my truck. So let's get in here, get set up, and get these taken apart and get started on it. All right, getting started. I'm going to remove the wires so I don't have to worry about them. There we go. Oh, okay. we got a couple of spacers. One of them fell. There we go. We got a couple of spacers in here in between these uh, these uh, thin pieces of metal. So if you have a set of these that are attached like this, watch out for these spacers. You don't want to lose them. I'm going to go ahead and take mine out and put it with my hardware. A little bit of corrosion on that diaphragm. It's not really too bad. When I get that cleaned up, it'll probably be even better sounding. My plan is to try to scrape uh, scrape and clean this up with a uh, with a uh, brass brush. I think I have a brass brush. I'm pretty sure I do But uh, I don't want to take this all the way apart because it is functional and I don't want to mess with any of the settings That if 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 this is only if this is tight to a to a certain point to have a to have a certain tone at 6 volts or 12 volts I don't want to mess that up. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be taking this apart since since this is functional just going to be cleaning up that diaphragm a little bit to get it uh, clean and might even might even sound a little bit better. So let's set this aside. I'm going to set these aside together so they don't get mixed up because I don't want to mix up uh, that horn with this assembly just in case this one is set different and I don't want the tones to sound different with the different horns. So since I've already heard it and I don't want to mix up any of the uh mix up any of the parts just getting some of the hardware that held on the other held on the other horn together so i don't drop it
and those two. This diaphragm actually looks like it's in better shape. You can still see some of the original metal right there, unrusted. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same treatment on this one. I'm done. I'm, I'm all I'm going to do is just is just uh, uh, brush it off with the uh, with the brass brush, and um, I'm probably going to I'm probably going to spray something on here, but I I almost don't want to spray anything on there because I it I don't want to uh, I don't want to risk losing uh whatever tone this has if i actually put paint on it so i might actually just spray it with with some wd-40 after i get it um after i get the uh the uh rust and d other dirt and stuff cleaned off of it as best i can so i uh, so i'm not actually putting paint on it so uh so i don't change the tone because i don't want to change the tones and this horn looks good this horn's actually stopped up a little bit Oh yeah, I had a uh, Scotch Brite in it, but this one does actually have some dirt dauber nest in it that I do need to get out. Not sure if you can see that in the video. Yeah, it's got a couple of them in there that I need to get out. So let me get to sanding on this, and I will fully assemble before I uh, before I'll put them all back together before I repaint them. So. Um, so i'm not losing any any connectivity between anything because this does get ground through the body or originally it would have been positive but uh yeah but there it is there's the disassembly not really too difficult but uh, i will be switching around this bracket to go the other way because uh because of how i want to install them in my truck I want uh, the bracket needs to go the other way so I can mount it uh, mount it just a little bit better. But I will be taking these off so I can clean them. And then I'm going to fully assemble and then repaint. Looks like it has even three uh, three pieces on front and three pieces on the back. I'm saying that for my own benefit, so I know. Make sure I see how that actually goes on there so I don't lose. That would be like that. Okay. And there we go, fully disassembled. Now I'm gonna take these parts over to my bench grinder and get them all clean and ready for paint or ready for reassembly. And then these, I'm just gonna get my sanding as best I can. I'm gonna try to reach in there as far as, as, far as I can the paint's probably not going to reach too far in there but there it is all right here we are back again uh on the bracket i cleaned it up with my bench grinder on, on the on the wire wheel on the smaller pieces they were a little bit too delicate to go on the uh, the wire wheel and i was afraid i was gonna uh, i was gonna lose one or hurt myself trying to actually clean them so what i did was uh got some um a grade three steel wool because i already had it and cleaned it up just mainly just getting the uh getting the uh the dirt the rust that i could off which i which actually got a, de a decent amount of it off and uh it's all ready and i've already got it turned around backwards it probably the same thing all i'm doing is turn turn around the bracket so uh the bolts are going back going in this way and the horns are going to be going this way so um i got the inside 
of these uh, uh, back caps cleaned and repainted looking very nice outside I just got scuffed up and uh, took off the uh, the uh, debris that I could and uh, not really spending too much time on it honestly as long as it, as long as it looks good I don't care but that's good and I got these cleaned up very nicely this was the this was uh, the worst one and uh, what I did to kind of protect the metal a little bit was uh, my my dad had saved I don't even I don't even remember what it was called like a metal conditioner or an oil additive or something that was like really really good um but i put i put a uh, a couple of coatings on the metal on both this diaphragm and on the other one which also cleaned up very nice so i don't have paint on here that can distort and uh quiet down the tone so i won't have to worry about it and the cones cleaned up very, very well. I am very happy with them. I'm gonna try to get in here with the paint as best I can. And on the back side, I went ahead and got it painted and I since the uh, original uh, paper or thin cork gasket uh, that went in between uh, the, uh, the mechanism and the horn is uh, deteriorated and long gone. I put a thin layer of black silicone so when I do sandwich it back together it, it will still have a seal all I did was just just a very light skim coat on it but there's the underside of that looking very nice and here is this one also cleaned up very well and then the back side now we're ready to go back together Let's get to it. I want to make sure that I have the shorter cone, which is this one, which will be this one right here on the inside. And this is how it's going to be setting on the vehicle. So I need to make sure I set it, I set them how, how I'm going to want them. And so I don't get these mixed up. Put that over there. This over here. And I want to try to put the part numbers to the side where you still can read it a little bit. Because I do still want to be able to read them easily. Even though I've already got pictures, I've already got video of it. I want to be able to read the part numbers very easily. Get one more on the top here, just to go, just to keep it still. Okay, I need to move that bottom one now. Might need to turn this off so I can actually focus and get this uh, get this put back together in the in the right in the right order. All right, here they are, reassembled, cleaned up, and ready for paint. With the bracket facing the other way. Uh, I didn't film the going back together with it because I was having some issues. I had had it, I, when I put it back together, I had it clocked wrong. And these uh, uh, ports for the power were actually twisted uh, uh, one hole to the right and then one hole to the left. And I wouldn't have been able to get the, the screws in efficiently. So I had to move them up, uh, move them up a little bit. So the screws are now right up top. And with this reassembled, after taking it apart, let me go over to my battery charger and we'll make sure these work on 6 and 12 volts before, before we paint them.
All right, here we are, set up at my battery charger. With the voltage on six volts. And I know this is originally a positive ground system and I'm going through negative, but it doesn't matter. All it does is the, the horns suck air instead of blow air, so it doesn't matter. It work and sound good. Now, 12 volts. Holy crap, that's a lot louder. Well, I think they're working a lot better. It's amazing what happens when st how stuff works when there's not a lot of crud on it to uh, dampen the uh, the volume a little bit. But <laughs> that is definitely louder. Let me put it back on six volts just to uh, just to, just to hear six volts again. All right, it's on six volts again. And where'd my wire go? There it is. Sounds good. And because it's so fun, 12 volts. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, time to hang them up and paint them. I'm gonna do the inside of the cones first and then hang it up on my hook right there and finish the rest of the painting. I got the horns installed on here, so uh, let's see what they look like and see what that sound like. All right. And boom, there they are. I did have to switch the bracket back around the way it was when I got it because going back it did not fit and actually hit the hood hinge. The hood, I actually bolted them down, drilled, drilled the holes and everything. So I got a couple extra holes, but uh, I bolted them down and the hood hinge went a little bit further forward than I thought it was going to and it actually hit the back of the, uh, it actually hit the back of this right here so I wasn't able to do that. Uh, what I did do is uh, bolt it down to an uh, existing bolt that was right here and I did drill it through on that one. I just, I just need to find something thin to actually go up underneath it and bolt it down so, it, so it'll be solid. But uh, there it is. I got it wired in. It's, uh, close the hood back up and see what it sounds like I do have to say having this massive cut out in the dash that I'm repairing the one that's eventually going to be in here was very very nice to for setting this up but there's the button right there and I got a 25 amp fuse in line to the main power so it's protected if anything happens to the main power coming in it pops it but here it is I love that I think I'm gonna go see if I can get one of my other phones and uh, see if I can get a decibel meter on this well my other phones were dead but uh, I downloaded a, uh, a, a decibel uh, a sound meter app on my phone and if it's correct, uh, inside the cab registered around 93, 94 decibels, and out there at the at the horns measured 110. So it's definitely loud. And I measured the uh, the regular horn, and it measured at 93 something out there, right at them. But um, there it is. The horns are done, and they're in. And they look very nice and very easily removable if I if I do need to do some work and they're in the way. But, uh, I tried to have the horns going through my horn button right here, but they were actually drawing too much power through the through the relay, and it actually popped my horn fuse. So I was not able to use it for the regular horn, which is this is right here. And then I love that. Uh, there it is. There's a the video. And uh, if you like the t-shirts I've been wearing in this video, 
go check out the link in the description. I got other designs on there and other stuff if, if you want one for yourself. But uh, if you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.